Guys, I think this generation might actually be cooked because today we have a story time of a Roblox kid caught... Well, you guys can read the title, right? He's caught gooning in class to his crush. I don't, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Leave a like on the video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And unfortunately, let's just jump right into it. So we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Ethan. There was a kid in Ethan's class who we're going to call Ben. And Ben was an absolute Roblox addict. There's nothing wrong to like Roblox. It's a totally fine game. And I know a lot of you guys do like it. But this kid was like playing Roblox in class. The only thing he cared about was Roblox. If you wanted to go talk to this guy, Ethan, the only thing that he would talk to you about would be Roblox. This kid was genuinely obsessed to the point that he was known as the Roblox kid. So you could play a bunch of Roblox. I know back in the day in high school, I used to play a lot of Minecraft, but I was not known as the Minecraft kid because that's not the only thing I talked about or did with my life. Yeah, so anyways, this kid, Ben, was literally known as the Roblox kid. And there was a girl in Ethan and Ben's class who we're going to call her Trudy. And, and Trudy was kind of like the standard girl that everyone in the class would kind of have a crush on, but no one would really make a move for her. And the reason why no one really made a move for her is everyone just thought, well, everyone else has a crush on her, so I never really have a chance. But that also meant that no one else is making a move. But uh, Ben, in all of his infinite wisdom, believed that he was the one who would have a chance. So this all happened one day in class. Um, it was class presentation day. And everyone would go up and they would do a presentation on a topic. And I think, I don't even know what the topic was. The subscriber didn't tell me. But just assume the topic was something like, I don't know, the dinosaurs, right? There was a theme to the class presentation. It wasn't a present about literally anything, which the Roblox kid, Ben, I guess he didn't get the memo. Yeah, anyways, right, so sure enough, uh, Ben eventually, you know, everyone else goes up, they do their presentation, Ethan does his presentation on, I don't know, T-Rexes, I, like, I don't even know what the topic was, but it was, like, a specific topic, so maybe it was, like, World War II history or something, so I need you guys to think about that in your mind when you hear this. Anyways, eventually, Ben decides to walk up and do his presentation. Ethan's sitting in the back of the class, not really expecting anything, not really expecting, uh, what we, what he was about to see. So Ben opens up his slideshow, and instead of having a bunch of slides on maybe, oh, well, this is why I chose the, you know, Ty Serat the whatever, I don't even know what he chose, right? Or the, the pterodactyl or something, and here's the history of the pterodactyl, and, you know, they were kind of lit, I guess. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, he didn't have multiple slides. He had one slide, and the one slide had an embedded video in it. So basically, with this embedded video, he goes in, clicks it to play it. And the teacher didn't stop him at this point, because I think the teacher probably just assumed, well, whatever. You know, he maybe instead of following the directions and making a slideshow presentation, he made a video presentation, which if the video's presentation is good, I'm not going to take off crazy points, even though he did ignore the instructions. Well, the teacher was about to take off crazy points in a second, but you guys are just going to have to sit here and listen. And let me just say, make sure you have your uh, cringe protection on if you haven't already subscribed to the channel or followed the, the, the podcast, if you're listening to this on Spotify, make sure to do that because if you don't, you will not be equipped with the right cringe armor to protect yourself from what you're about to listen to. Yeah, so sure enough, right, this kid, uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's insane. This kid starts playing the video and immediately Ethan and everyone else in the class can tell that something is up. Something here is absolutely diabolically, horribly, horribly wrong. So the video starts playing, and it's like, oh, it's a Roblox music video. I think a couple weeks ago on stream, I reacted to a certain set of Roblox music videos because I got a lot of requests, which, by the way, I stream daily on YouTube, so make sure you have notifications on for Connor Pugs on YouTube. Anyways, though, um, this was like a Roblox music video. So it was like Roblox characters. And instead of just being like, I don't know, a Roblox music video to a song that everyone knew or something like that. It was not. It was a brand new song that no one had heard before. And the reason why no one had heard it before is because it was a song that Ben made. And oh, okay, well, this is totally wrong, right? It's not about, you know, 
dinosaurs, obviously, or if it was, you know, he still would have lost a lot of points. But please, guys, I hope the music video is about dinosaurs because why would it be about anything else? That would make no sense. Well, as Ethan starts to listen and as the music video begins, they all slowly realize, the entire class realizing, that in fact, it is not a music video about dinosaurs. It is a love song professing his love to Trudy. So anyways, Ben, the Roblox kid in class is doing the presentation. So he stands up in front of the music video and starts dancing along with his Roblox character. Yep, like peak level cringe. Like this is cringe level 2000, bro. Like there's no coming back from this. This is absolutely cooked. You guys might be thinking this is pretty bad. Well, listen, listen to what actually happens. Listen to the details here and please, please prepare yourself. Maybe you gotta sit down. Maybe you gotta like pause this video every couple seconds because the cringe levels on this are next level. Anyways, so Ben's up there dancing along to his Roblox character. And he's like, oh, 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 I think I'm in love. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm in love. Which by the way, yeah, that's some lyrical genius right there. Lyrical, spiritual, like bro is at a 2000 IQ level for this. Bro really decided to rhyme I'm in love, oh, 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 with oh, 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 I'm in love. Oh my God, man. I mean, Einstein's got to move over. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, take a seat because we have been the Roblox kid with next level, genius level rhymes. Anyways, everyone in the class, half of them are laughing, half of them are too shocked to laugh. I think the teacher is just so blown away by how just wrong this is. By wrong, I don't mean like messed up because the rest of the story is about to be mad messed up as you can tell by the title. But I think he's just blown away by just like how completely opposite of anything else this was supposed to be. Like this was supposed to be a presentation on dinosaurs, but Buddy's out here with a Roblox music video confessing his love to Trudy. But anyways, he's like, oh, 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 I'm in love with the girl in this class. And then the whole class is like, uh oh, I'm in love with a girl in this class. And, you know, she's sitting right there and he points to Trudy and Trudy's face goes bright red like that. And everyone in the class, more people are now laughing now. Half of them, like a couple kids are pulling out their phone recording this. This is just like next level, oh, hell no. Nah. Like it's, it's just really not great. Yeah, anyways though, so sure enough, right? Um, he's like, yeah, I'm in love with a girl in this class and she doesn't even know yet. And it just, it's like, bro, buddy, uh, she definitely knows. You literally just pointed to her after saying, I'm in love with a girl in this class. She's sitting right there. Pointing at Trudy, unless you're pointing into a different dimension, bro. Like, we're pretty certain about who you're in love with. Anyways, though, she's like, yeah, I'm in love with this girl. Yeah, she's sitting right there. Uh, and I think she's in love with me, too. By the way, the look of her eyes, bump, bump, bump. Like, it is, it is, it is just, like, next level cringe. Like, guys, I know, I, I, I try to prepare you. I try to make sure that you guys were cool, that you guys were ready for what was about to come. But I don't think you guys were truly ready. And I apologize. That is truly on me. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's my bad. I take full responsibility for my actions here. But he's like, yeah, I think she's in love with me too. Uh, uh, uh. And now I got to say, what's stopping us every day from becoming boyfriend and girlfriend, Trudy? Uh, uh. So what do you say? And his like music video ends. And he's just like in like frozen in a dance move, like pointing at Trudy. And then, like, so there's the music video is over it, but he's like, and what do you say? And what do you say? And the whole class is laughing, freaking out, recording the video. And the teacher's like, Ben, I don't think this presentation fits the guidelines of the presentation that we had. You know, this is supposed to be a presentation about dinosaurs. And, you know, unless my ears and eyes deceive me, this has not been a presentation about dinosaurs. So unless you have a presentation about dinosaurs, I do, I do suggest that you do sit down. We'll have a little chat after class. And... Well, ben just it completely ignores his teacher and he's like, oh, what do you say? And points to Trudy and she's like, ha ha, because she's a very nice girl, right? Very, very nice. She's like, um, I, I, I just, I, I, I don't know, Ben, I, I, I'm not looking to date anyone right now. And he's like, but, but I, 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 I made a song for you. What do you mean? I made a song for you. And she's like, um, no, no, the, the song's very sweet. Don't, don't get me wrong, the song's very sweet. I just don't think I'm ready. And he's like, okay, well, I'll ask you tomorrow. And she's like, she at that point is like, I don't think I'm going to be dating anyone for a while. And that time she said it a little bit stronger. So Ben kind of sulks, goes back to his seat. The entire class is trying not to laugh at this point. 
and it's just a complete disaster. Yeah, sure enough, after class, Ben has to speak to the teacher. The next day, he does a presentation on dinosaurs. But the real bad part of this story, relating to the title, happens about a week later. So throughout the entire week, he's just on, or the next week, I should say, this happened on a Friday. Throughout the, the rest of the week, he's just not paying attention in class, playing Roblox. I mean, that's kind of like every single day with him. But I think he was drowning his sorrows in Roblox gameplay. But one day, uh, it's a little bit different. So Ben usually sits around the middle of the class, but today he sits in the way back, and he wears some, like, big hoodie, and I think you guys can kind of understand where this is already going. And uh, anyways, Ethan's just kind of not paying attention in class, and he's just kind of drifting in and out, not in and out of consciousness, but just, like, totally spacing out. And that's when he hears, like, light... <sighs> Oh, my God. He hears, like, light moaning noises from the back of class. Yeah. Let's take a quick break from this video to learn about BitTensor subnet valuations. None of this is financial advice, and this is solely educational content. Each of BitTensor subnets has an alpha token, which is sort of like a fractional share of a specific project in the BitTensor ecosystem. Every subnet's alpha token is a hard capped at 21 million, and the tokenomics mirror Bitcoin's fixed supply. Each subnet starts by minting roughly two alpha tokens per block, and then halves on a set schedule, just like Bitcoin. That means supply expands rapidly at first and slows over time. So, what are some different valuation methods that can be applied to subnet alpha tokens? There are three main factors that increase valuation. First, is demand for the subnet services. Second is the actual revenue those services generate. Third is the APY paid to stakers. Because strong APY drives incentive, incentives drive staking and holding. Keep an eye on subnets offering standout yields. All of these metrics attract more holders and can push va subnet valuation up. In my opinion, many alpha subnet tokens are pretty undervalued currently. There are a lot of subnets subnets that have strong upside potential and really useful services that are seeing solid growth. If you want to learn more, check out the unsupervised capital article linked in the video description. Now let's get back to the story. So yeah, Ethan, who's kind of spaced out, hears light moaning noises from the back of class. And he's like, what the frick, dude? So he like, is like, okay, whatever. And then he hears them louder. And then he, he oh my God, bro, this is... This is this so brutal to tell this story, but it was too crazy for me not to tell. Which, by the way, if you want to submit a story yourself, go to Instagram, look up Connor Pugs, follow me, and then DM message me your story. Direct message me your story. Hit the message button, send the entire story. I check that all the time. I sometimes check messages from weeks ago, so don't think if I didn't tell your story right away, I'm not going to tell it. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't know myself, but. He then hears Ben, Benny boy. He mo oh my God, he moans, like he moans Trudy's name, bro. Oh my God. At this point, the entire class turns around and Ben is just like in his hoodie. Like he has his like hoodie covered over his knees. He has his like, like his shirt, like not a shirt down, but his like hood down. Literally, not literally. Um, and then at that point, the teacher's like, Ben! <laughs> just boom. Like, what are you doing right now? And he's like, um, uh, and he like quickly like unsheaths his hood. He's like, oh, oh, I was, I was just, um, paying attention. He's like, no, no, you're going to the office right now. And the worst thing, and the thing too, Trudy didn't even notice. So half the class is laughing and realizes what happened. And I think someone probably explained it to her after, which is so embarrassing. But she's just like, sitting there looking all confused, like, oh, I wonder why Ben's going to the principal's office. Buddy, you don't want to know why Ben's going to the principal's office. All I'm going to say is you do not want to know why.